I know many of you cannot wait for me to do some commentary about this right here. Well, wait no longer. I bet when the governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam, woke up that one that morning, he was not expecting that this revelation from his past will come back to bite him in the ass. Ooh, that rhymed. But it did. You know, this was this image you're looking at right here was posted back in, you know, back in his yearbook back in the eighties. You know, back when there wasn't really any internet, you know, no Wi Fi, no screenshot, no social media. But in today's society, you can pull all of that stuff up from way back when. If they can pull stuff from back in the damn 1600s, then pulling something from the 80s is going to be a very easy task. So basically what we have here is Ralph Northam's yearbook picture, where you see on the far left, that's him. The one in the middle, that's him. The one in the bottom with the car, that's him. But the main focus of the controversy is the picture on the far right. Now, we see someone dressed in blackface next to someone dressed in a Klan's robe. Now, like I said, he's the governor of Virginia. Now, I just recently did a video about a political figure down in Florida who got busted recently from a Halloween party he attended way back in 2005 where he was mocking Hurricane Katrina victims. You know, he put on the black face and dressed up as a black woman who was supposed to be a Hurricane Katrina victim and thought that shit was hilarious. To him it was, and probably some of the other people that was there, but to myself it wasn't. And people got so upset and saying, why did they pull something up from all those years ago to use against them? I said, well, where was that same anger and vitriol when they was pulling stuff up about Kevin Hart from all them years ago? Y'all was ready to railroad the guy, and still are. So if they could pull that up from 2005, like I said, pulling something from 1980-whatever, four, I believe this is when this was taken, is no problem. It's no issue. But now the thing is they're trying to get him to resign. And he keeps saying that he's not going to do it. Last time I heard, I heard that he said he wasn't going to resign, his Viewpoint probably has changed since then. I'm not entirely sure. But one thing I saw that stuck out to me was uh, this right here. Is it later Friday, CBS News found that his 1981, okay, it was 81, yearbook at the Virginia Military Institute lists one of his nicknames as Coon Man. Coon is often used as a slur for black people. I wonder if he was using that coon man in this picture right here on the far on the far right where the black face is being worn. And now you have someone who's part of the Republican Party named Jack Wilson who said racism has no place in Virginia. I beg to differ. Virginia is one of the most racist states in the fabric known as America. Trust me and believe. Once you get past a certain part of VA, like I would say, once you get past Richmond, then yeah. If y'all didn't know, there's actually a place in Virginia called Lynchburg. L-Y-N-C-H-B-U-R-G. Lynchburg. And if you get on 95 South or 95 North, you will pass some signs that says exit or you're this, not maybe exit, or this many miles to Lynchburg. Like if you're driving from the south up, or you're going from the north down, and you have to go through VA, depending on how you travel, you will see signs that say Lynchburg. That's no coincidence. Like you actually have a place called Lynchburg. You know, something that is used to describe what happened to black people when they got hung. So don't sit up here and insult my intelligence and say that there's no um, there's no place for racism in Virginia. That's bullshit. And now you have all these individuals trying to uh, do cleanup to try to clear this image up. There's no way they're going to do it. You even had people that came after uh, um, what's, uh, CNN. And now I don't like CNN, but, you know, CNN missed 
uh, categorize him as far as his political affiliations because I believe he's a Democrat. Yeah, he is a Democrat. And they miscategorized him and called him a Republican. Then you had all these uh, goddamn blog sites like Breitbart and all types of stuff saying, well, CNN the state news because they miscategorized the man as a Republican when he's really a Democrat. You see, they love when stuff like this about Democrats come out because it they feel it takes the heat off of them. No, the heat is still on you. It's on both of you, honestly. And see, the thing is, they like to try to get into the minds of impressionable people, especially black people that say, oh, the liberal left, oh, the conservative right is so bad, the liberal left is so wicked. Y'all are both wings on the same damn wicked ass bird. We should not be trusting either one of you. And see, that's what they're scared of. Just imagine as a black collective, we came out and said, we're not voting for you unless we get some tangibles, which, by the way, there is a hashtag going around called Tangibles 2020. I suggest that if you come across it on social media, you check it out. And that if you don't cater to us the way we've been catering to you and got nothing in return for all these years, we're not you're not giving you're not getting our vote. If you didn't know what's his name, Cory Booker of New Jersey just threw his hat into the presidential ring. I couldn't support him either because based on stories I've heard from people in New Jersey and saying he really didn't do anything for for them, <coughs> excuse me, or the city of Newark. <laughs> why would like what could he possibly do in New, in New Jersey? Has a pretty good black population, depending on what part of New Jersey you go to. Yes, black people are finally being selfish with their political affiliations or what they want and it's about damn time finally because we know what kind of hand we've been dealt now you'll have some black people that's going to be upset at that oh okay let them be mad it won't be the first and it won't be the last time of them being pissed but back to this guy here yes he is a piece of shit and i can tell by his arrogance when he said i'm not resigning well the pressure is going to be on for him to leave but see, he's only going to resign. He may lay low for a little bit, and then he'll creep his way back into doing whatever it is that he was doing before. Now, if he's going to be willing to do this, who knows what else he has been doing. But this can also be a ploy to get him out of there so they could put a Republican in that seat. So I wouldn't be surprised if the person that exposed this is a uh, conservative, right-leaning, political-affiliated person. Because... Excuse me, if they bring someone else in and that person's a Republican, that was the goal the whole time. But you, if that's the case, you just got to love that in fighting. I love it. Because then it, expose, it exposes us to their true nature, but then it exposes that they are not as linear as people would like to believe. But wouldn't it be even more funny if it was another Democrat that exposed them just so they can get their spot? I'm just coming up with all these scenarios in my head. But yeah, uh, Ralph Northam, you have been busted. And good riddance.